What's up, everyone? It's your man, Busy Bronze. So it's been a while since I've gotten really any Arrowverse reaction done, but I'm excited to just dive back into it. This is the finale for Superman and Lois, and I ended up watching the last two episodes of my own, and episode 14, oh my god, that was great. I was a little disappointed disappointed that I didn't end up reacting to it, but you know, the reveal to, of, of Jordan's powers to Sarah, I thought that was pretty awesome, and I was really looking forward to seeing how it does play out for this episode. Um, I was hearing a lot of rumors, you know, even before, like months ago, about you know, characters that could appear in the Superman and Lois finale. I've been trying to avoid as much as I can, but, you know, I'm just really excited to finally be here. Uh, this has been one of the shows that has consistently been good, and I, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing how they end up concluding Season 2. So, even though we didn't react to a lot of Season 2, I do want to apologize, but I am excited with how it has kind of turned out. It's been amazing, and I am... I'm really excited to finish it with you guys. So here we are, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So again, if you're new, subscribe. We're going to be trying our best to get as much as we can done. We got a lot of content dropping. We got to finish Umbrella Academy. We got Miss Marvel that we just dropped today, and uh, we got a lot more coming. So be ready. We're going to be starting Lord of the Rings as well soon. So um, yeah, if you're into that, subscribe. But we also got our gaming channel up and running. So go subscribe there, and um, I'm looking forward to just talking to you guys more. So I'm ready. I'm stoked. I'm going to leave it there. Let's get busy. We can't wait for Superman to save us. Our world's uh, hero is now powerless because of this. Oh, oh my god, really making us watch that again. We'll get ahead of ourselves. So? Believe me, I was just back. surprised to be transported to this hey. godforsaken second place as you all were. What? And you, brother, are in no shape to do much about it. Seems my return, though I'd hoped otherwise, all right. is necessary. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Oh, it's the other Lois. Oh, ah! <laughs> that's awesome. Besides, you need to stay with your family. You You're are. our family too. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Oh man. <laughs> really liked having brothers. This ain't the end, though, right? This can't be the end. It's happening again. <laughs> Oh shit, bro. Oh my god! The we aren't going to stop her. I am. Tal, she dreamed me of all is my Is that energy. right? It's rather inspired me to have a go myself. Oh, is that right? <laughs> so this time last year you were trying to destroy the world. Now you're gonna save it. And now you're fighting for it. You and your all family right, are the man. only people on this planet that truly matter to me. Alright, I wanna like them. I do. Ah oh, man, I hope this is the nip for him, bro. Oh shit, bro! He couldn't have actually thought he was gonna be able to do this, man. Your hotel, and you get out of there. You understand? Go. Yeah. Okay, Jordan, time to show up to work. <laughs> oh man, look at him, bro. Okay, Jordan. Hey! Us <laughs> inspired. Nah, I love that he can fly now too. This is great. You saved my Jeez. life. I'm forever in your debt. Cause you can't do anything to stop Alex. <laughs> That's awesome. Me. Uh, well, remember you don't have your power to play. I'm sure he knows that. Which is why you're throwing me into it. What? Dad. I know it sounds crazy, but when I was Man, in the fortress, throw me I'm into pretty the sure that's what my mom was trying crazy. to tell me. And now I'm asking you to do the same. Oh, wow. I need you guys to trust me, too. <laughs> now nah, this show's this really good, bro. Here. Start selling mom. Man, it's really about to go swimming in the sun, bro. You're crazy. <laughs> show something to do. He never showed. Same with Mitch and Fuller. But oh, they're definitely other planet. So if it's okay, we're gonna find them. Ali's followers. Oh, they they would love this, bro. A bunch of crazy heads. They're waiting. Yeah, we'll go, girl. What did you say? It should work both ways. Oh my god. Oh shit. You just straight up disappeared. We just know what you said. I don't want to. Ah, she really said I don't want to go. She pulled a Peter Parker. Look at all those weirdos. Oh shoot. Oh, there we go. Finally. Then I wouldn't change a thing if it meant not being your dad. Man's really just flowing in the middle of nowhere, bro. Hey, the reunion! You're <laughs> No. 
it okay. Aww. Just wanted to save you. And you did. Being with you. Bro, they both better make it out of this, bro. <laughs> well, you always were the impulsive one. <laughs> I love you too. Ah. Ah, now let me throw you in the sun real quick. <laughs> Sheesh, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Neither do you. And now he's back. Ah. Uh, <laughs> poor guy. Man with stress. Oh shit. Boys, <laughs> die. I've been working for the DoD for Damn. a long time. I've seen things you would not believe. Glimpses of other worlds and the leagues oh, yeah? of superheroes they have. Oh on them. yeah! And even though we only have your father on this planet, what? I don't like. Yet. I don't like the I way you said that. Him. Oh my god, bro. Uh. He's back. You have disrupted me for the last time. Hey, here we go. <laughs> oh shit! I'm gonna miss you too, Buck. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Oh my god. What is going on? They're back! Yay! <laughs> oh shit, man. Last one. It's Superman. Yay! <laughs> Oh, it's great! Oh, look at the suit absorbing. Oh, I have all the energy from the sun. Oh, it's so cool. My head hurts. <laughs> There's so much going on, man. It's great. <laughs> Shit, dude. So we split them up, bro? <laughs> oh, man. That's really how we splitting them up. <laughs> hey, the goat. <laughs> oh man. Ah, oh, this is great. Oh, look at this dude dressed up as steel. <laughs> that was just cool. <laughs> and as a trade-off, you did save the world. <laughs> so that's really fair. Rough dealing with Armageddon. My first week as mayor. Armageddon, so wow, good choice of words. Clark is she really gonna tell her? Superman. Ah, she's like funny joke. <laughs> Your husband, Clark Kent. He's Superman. Hey, why'd you say it like that? And you are my friend, and I am tired of hiding the truth from you. Aww. You deserve better. <laughs> She's so excited. This is the biggest secret anyone's ever told me. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty much the biggest secret in the entire world. <laughs> I'm getting kind of emotional. That's probably my one of my favorite reactions that we've oh seen god, from oh anyone. Do I need to swear like an oath of secrecy or something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bro, I love the music that they play in this show. Aww. Yeah, and I never said sorry for betraying that trust this summer at camp when I kissed Aubrey. You already talked about that. But I didn't oh, say I was man. sorry. You That's trusted what I've been waiting me. for. I won those polls on my brother and I. That was the first time I used my powers. I didn't even know it yet. <laughs> Is she- look at her and all. Uh, Is she just watching them? gonna be like that all day yeah we're gonna have to work on that <laughs> you're always gonna be in my life but uh, this us poor guy it'll never be like it was how about our last dance then wow oh, that's sad to something else something darker he became did they parasite. regret what they did? But if that's not what you wanted... Wonder Twins act- Yeah, do Jonathan and Jordan Kent live here? That's None of your business. Well, these are for you. Are you serious? Hey, yo, what? No. <laughs> hey, who these are from? Just says, Uncle Tao. That mean anything to you? No uh, way. Ah, no way. <laughs> hey, Jonathan, bro, these rims are sweet. Jonathan, 
that's, it's okay, Dad. Dad, I'll write him a thank you note. Don't worry. <laughs> no, no, that's not what I meant. I mean, oh, that's so awesome. I did save his life. Yes, you did. It does not mean you can keep the truck. <laughs> misguided oh, man, and irresponsible awesome. way, <laughs> he, he can Yo, probably guys, hear him too. <laughs> Where is he, bro? Hello, weird Smallville. Oh, is Through he really in Bizarro metal, World? I have traversed worlds that I may join oh your ranks. Oh my god. Surprised you'd come in here after all the trouble your wife caused. Tell me, what was the name again? Ah, wow. Hello. John Henry Irons. John Diggle. Diggle! You and I met last year. Oh, the goat. <laughs> Anaheim is the person that killed John Henry Irons. Oh, shit. What I'm trying to figure out is why. Ah. Give it a minute. You'll see. Jordan Seasick. No, I'm not. So what's this been planning? Or she got some pretty cool Kryptonian technology. You might be interested in. Really? Oh, yeah. You can ask yeah. Me about yourself. Uh, that's pretty first, awesome. I think the crystal might have expired or something. <laughs> oh man, I like this. I really do enjoy this show, man. Oh, this is great. We've seen it in the desert, we've seen it in the Arctic, and now we're about to see it. Oh, this is great. Season 3! Season 3! Alright, I want to dive into this because, um, of course, one of the biggest things is, uh, of course, you know, uh, the separation from Superman and Lois and the Arrowverse. But before we dive into that, I do want to say I try to stay away from a lot of YouTubers, you know, when I'm watching, when I'm, uh, because I don't like spoilers. That's one thing I want, but sometimes they just pop up on my screen. And one of them was, you know, uh, that I saw, like, maybe when the season first started was, oh, if the Flash was going to appear in Superman and Lois or whatever, and everyone was talking about how it was going to happen, yada, yada, yada. And a lot of these YouTubers were like, oh, confirmed, confirmed. So I didn't even watch the, like, like I know I watched a lot of the videos, but I ended up, you know, I got my hopes up. And, and the thing is, this this episode was fire, don't get me wrong. But uh, let me, it's like when you, when you think that something's going to happen, obviously you're going to get a little excited. But don't get me wrong, I am still excited with how it ended up playing out, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited there, but now to the big stuff, the Arrowverse, everything, you know, the, the, you know, them having the speech to finally kind of decide on where we stand here. Um, of course, I needed to look more into it, because obviously, this is, it makes sense that they're going their own way, I mean, it, it gives them more freedom, but I do want to read this right now, because this is uh, something that, um, of course, I feel like it's important. But this is the quote, of course, that Sam ended up using when he was talking to uh, both Jonathan and Jordan. Uh, I've seen things you would not believe, glimpses of other worlds and leagues of superheroes they have on them. And even though we, are ha we only have your father on this planet, thank God that we do because he's the finest of any earth. So, of course, I'm saying that it's something that already blew my mind in the first place. I mean, them stating that he's the only hero that we have here. I mean, of course, there's other heroes that have existed, other heroes that Clark has met in some of the other... Uh, things that we have seen so for them to just kind of make this you know a thing is it, it, it kind of blows my mind it makes sense but like i said it, it is it, I, I i fell in love with the arrowverse because of you know everything connecting so for them to do this it does hurt me a little bit but i understand it i understand it you know it's not like i'm gonna stay up crying about it i understand why they're doing this but it is a little disappointing you know throughout high school the one thing i looked forward to or like like when it came to watching television was you know being able to watch you know one show on thursday one show on wednesday one show on tuesday and they all connected you know i i loved it so um it does suck to see that this is you know how they're going but it, like i said it makes sense so uh showrunner todd helbing uh acknowledges from day one there were questions of how we were connected to the arrowverse if you go back to the first script that got sent to warner brothers in dc it had a lot of references to other heroes like the flash there were moments moments when we were shooting and i think i've said this before but there was a photo of Kara on lois's desk at the daily planet all that stuff got slowly pulled out and the more we did it the more it became of a can of worms to even mention it so like I said, this is, it does make sense, but it it's just it's it I'm I'm interested in it, but I I am looking forward to seeing a more a uh, little crossover still with some characters like John Diggle has been coming up as we saw him in the finale it does make sense and it does look like they are questioning it here like bringing it up here, but I do want to uh, talk about this. Um, it says in other words. 
don't hold your breath for any big crossovers in, in the near future, which makes sense. As for the John Diggle we saw at the end of season two finale, he's also, you guessed it, not the same Diggle that spent eight seasons kicking butt and arrow. See, that hurts to hear, but again, I understand. This is also a new Diggle, Hellbing confirms. David Ramsey had grown, grown a beard and grew his hair out. He called me and said, I've been growing my hair. I look different. Do you want me to shave and get a haircut? So not to add uh, more confusion to it, but he's a different Diggle. So, again, makes sense, but it's going to be fun to hear, um, I guess, all of your thoughts, because I know a lot of you probably have your opinions on this. Some of you might not be happy with this decision, but it's not the end of the world. The fact that we're getting some consistent, gr just great television with Superman and Lois, I'm happy with it, you know? I'm As long as they keep providing us some fire stuff, you know, I'm going to keep watching it. I'm going to keep loving it, you know, compared to some of the stuff that we've gotten in the past couple of years with the Arrowverse. This has definitely been a big change of pace, and it's great. I, I like it. So, I'm again, I will, I'm happy with what we're doing, and I'm going to hold out for, for more, you know? And, and I, I, I think it will make some of these crossovers a little more exciting, if I'm being honest. When they do throw in characters every now and then, if they do manage to do it, if we do get a Barry Allen in this, uh, sh you know, show could be a you know it's probably going to be a different version it could always just be Barry traveling you know I don't know but it would be fun to see how they do handle it could always um find a way to add d a different you know backstory it gives them more freedom if they ever do Batman which I doubt they will but I'm just saying like they don't have to uh you know do what uh whatever Gotham Knights is doing or whatever Batwoman did you know they can just do their own thing and and obviously I don't expect them to do Batman but I'm just saying like for characters like that down the road they have freedom to just drop them in however they want to drop them in uh Kara could even be in the in, you know they could throw her in and just you know it could just be a new car from this universe you know it could, doesn't they don't have to do anything crazy I don't I don't know I'm just trying to think of what they could do but I'll be patient and I'll see and uh, either way, I'm going to be excited. But yes, um, the world's emerging. We end up seeing this. Uh, it was cool to watch. Of course, we're seeing people kind of zip in and out from uh, one world to the next. As we saw, Lois ended up disappearing, going to the Bizarro world while everyone else stayed, you know, at the Kent farm. Um, Talro is back, of course. Fantastic. I was really looking forward to seeing more, especially after the last appearance that we had of him. I was really looking forward to seeing more Tal. But um, the way they kind of set it up here makes it seem like we may not, we might not get more of him, you know, in the future, which I, I don't like. I want to see more of him. He's been a character I really enjoyed, and seeing kind of a brother bond between Clark and Tal has been something that I've I, I've been looking forward to, and I've looked forward to this in this episode specifically with uh, Clark saying, you know, I've been coming to trust you as a friend and a brother, and you know, just seeing little moments like that, it's really fun to watch. And specifically at the end when we see Uncle Tal, you know, giving the two nice ass trucks to both Jordan and John. I mean, just seeing them kind of get all excited about it, and then Clark having to speak up, because he can say it loud enough to the point where Tal can hear him across the country, and it's just so funny for him to kind of give Tal a little lecture, like, this was extremely irresponsible, I don't know, I just, I loved the little moments like that, like, it was just, it was great. Um, we end up having the moment where, uh, of course, Natalie ended up going to help John. So John, of course, is over here. John Hunter Irons is, is floating above, you know, in the void. And uh, some crazy stuff is going on. He ended up giving a message. Of course, the message was a little distorted, so we didn't end up hearing all of it. Like the ex-Kryptonite part. But for Natalie to end up going in there, you know, us having a moment where they, mo they both... Like, I knew they weren't going to kill off both of them. But, you know, John, they were, I was questioning. I didn't know what they were going to do with them. And I'm glad they're both still around because those are two characters that I, I think really make this show great I mean they they like almost everyone like there's a lot of shows where there's characters that are on screen where I don't really care for it like I mean there's members of team flash that you know I I do like but I, I'm just not like I'm not so excited for when they're on screen but with this show basically every character that is the main character you know Every time they're on screen, it's usually always exciting for me because I really look forward to seeing what could happen next, you know? I actually get excited over it. And then by main characters, I mean, like, literally Lois, Jordan, Jonathan, Clark, uh, uh, Natalie, John. You know, those characters, I'm always excited. I mean, the Cushings, yeah, I think they're cool, but they're not as, you know, they don't get me as excited as, you know, some of these other characters. But still, I mean, it's just, it is cool to see, um these characters stick around it's going to be interesting to see you know if they do throw in more diggle obviously they they've made it clear that this is a different diggle from um you know uh 
from um, um the Arrowverse. So what what was going on with the Flash and all that with you know the whatever if it was the ring I don't know. So the, clearly this isn't the same. So. I don't know, he's not having those issues apparently. I don't know. There's just so much to question now because they have mentioned some things, of course, that, that have happened. Like, they, they mentioned, didn't they mention Crisis in um season one of, or whenever Diggle was last in it? I don't know. There's just a lot of things going on and I'm just, I'm all over the place now because um, there's going to be a lot of questions that are going to be out there and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be listening. But like I said, this is going to be a big change and I am excited to hear what you guys have to say. Um, we end up having Jordan saving Tal, part of the reason why he might have got in the car. But yeah, um, just seeing Jordan kind of uh, go to work again, it was it was really really cool. Like last episode was definitely a Jordan MVP episode, but this episode to see how control how much um, control he has in the flying was definitely fun to watch. Because of course, uh, Clark, I mean, like in Smallville, we didn't really see that until later on with this whole, the whole flying stuff. So uh, sometimes in in some media, Clark doesn't necessarily get hold of his flying right away. But um, I don't know to see that Jordan is definitely getting there. It's it's fun. It's fun to watch, you know. Uh, Jordan and Sarah seem to be patching things up, so that should be fun in the next season. Um, definitely excited to see how that does play out. Uh, you know, uh, Diggle, I think, was one of the things I was excited for the most. We're getting a new fortress, which, of course, is going to be fun. But, yeah, talk to me. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff that ended up happening in this episode, and I know a lot of you are probably, you know, excited to, to, to you know, for Season 3. Stargirl, of course, we're going to be getting Season 3 of that, which is good. Um, definitely, I, I, I need to try to get back on things and end up reacting to, uh, you know, just shows like that again because... Um, I don't know, I'm all over the place. We know that um, Stargirl isn't on Earth Prime, so that does make sense. You know, they've already separated that. But, yeah, this is this is fun, man. I, I don't know, this is definitely a trip. Uh, oh, man, this is just so different. Like, just knowing that it's not connected like, like that, it's really hurting my head, and I'm trying my best to come to terms with it. But, like I said, being I've been a fan of the, of the Arrowverse for so long, so just the, every, like all these little details matter, so it's throwing me off. But you know, it is what it is, you know. So we'll be fine, I promise you. But we got some things that we're gonna be dropping. Miss Marvel, go watch that reaction. We're whipping this up, so go. You, well, if you made it this far in the reaction or the review, make sure you let me know. I'll be sure to say thank you in the comment section. Um. In the next few weeks, we are going to be starting uh, uh, Lord of the Rings. We have uh, the Resident Evil, the show that we are going to be watching as well. In the next few weeks, hopefully, we have Stranger Things on Friday. we got to finish Umbrella Academy and the finale of First Kill. So we got a lot of things coming up and the boys, don't forget. So, yeah, a lot of stuff. So be ready. Again, if you're new, subscribe. If you're interested in... Um, Follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter. I'd really appreciate it. We're almost at 100,000 followers. If you do want the, the full reaction for the finale, because we didn't really react to much of Season 2, but I will have the finale reaction. If you want that, go to Patreon and just let me know, and I'll upload it. Um, Yeah, we got a lot of things uh, uh, get, we're trying to get done. So It's going to be a long day, but I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll talk to you soon.